Hey everybody, it's Allie from Padfoot Palms. So I have received multiple questions many times about my puppy setups or what I recommend for puppies if you're bringing a new puppy home. So I wanted to take a few minutes and show you the setup that I like to have. This is the Iris dog pen. Um, it's the, I believe it's the 24 inch high one. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's right. It comes in different sizes depending on how tall or how big your puppy is going to get. Um, this is the four panel. It also comes in a six panel and an eight panel. Again, depending on what size or how many puppies you have. So um, the reason why I really like this pen is because there is plenty of space in here for you to have food and water. Um, this is the extra large, or I'm sorry, the double XL puppy pad from Walmart. So it's 36 by, it's like 32 by 36 or something like that. 34 by 36, thanks babe. So anyway, the double XL puppy pad. And as you can see, one pad pretty much covers the whole area. And if you use two or even a smaller pad with it, it would completely cover the entire pen. So the idea of this is that your puppy has a bed, um, you know, maybe they have a blanket in their bed, they have a chew bone or something like that, and you need a place that you can put them so that they can kind of take a time out from the craziness of the world or maybe your other dog, and they have their very own space where they can relax, they can chew a bone. Um, if you were to leave the house, of course you, you would take up the toys and bones, but they could have access to food and water, maybe while you're at work. So for very small or very young puppies, this is a really great option. And I'm just gonna back up here and try not to step on twigs, good girl. So um, in my other videos, you'll see that we often refer to this as the puppy apartment. Um, it does have a mesh topper, which I don't have on it right now, uh, that, that is sold separately. And I highly recommend that, especially if you want to deter your puppy from climbing out of it to start with. Now this pen is for Logan. He is my three pound uh, Pomeranian and he doesn't climb out. Um, he's just not a climber. It's, it's not in his nature, but some puppies are climbers. So what I recommend that you do is you get the mesh top and have the mesh top on it 24 seven. It's very easy to get the puppy pads out and clean them. All you have to do is bend over, lift up the pen, which is very, very light. And then you can pull the puppy pad right out. Um, the mesh topper is attached with Velcro, so if you needed to go ahead and take the topper off, you could, um, but it's not necessary in order to clean up underneath. The other thing you can do is, like I said, this is very light. You can completely pick it up as one piece, set it to the side, clean that area, and then you're good to go. So that is the puppy apartment. Oh, uh, and the other thing that I wanted to recommend is if you wanted to use something like a reusable puppy pad, that would also be a good option. Um, I recommend that you get the biggest pad that you can. They come in different sizes, but these are fantastic um, if your puppy is just, oh, sorry. If your puppy is just learning about house training, um, you can put this down underneath to protect your floor. It has a velocity, velocity. Hey, that's enough. You can put this down. Um, it has a waterproof layer in it. So you could put this down and put a puppy pad over top of it, or you could just use this as your puppy pad and wash it. So great way to protect your floors. So that is the puppy apartment. <laughs> 